Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Soul Granny's Hole. For our Saturday collab this week, we are going to be making a crossbody bag, and it's put out by Indigo Junction, designed by Jennifer Ethier. Ethier, sorry, I might have uh, messed up that name, um, but I'm not understanding. It says crosswords by Amy Berkman as well, so I don't know who the real designer is. All I know is when I went to look for this pattern online to link it up to where you can purchase it at. They actually have a free pattern of this out right now, so I will link that in the description below for you. So this one's a pretty simple one. It gives you three varieties of bags to make. You can put the gusset in, you can leave it out, you can make it with recyclable uh, denim or shirts or whatever. Um, you can make it with new cotton. You know, it's got some templates in it uh, right here. You can trace out and you can actually put these on and embroider and whatnot on your bags. So I went ahead and I did my practice run. And this was my practice run. I thought it turned out really cute. I did put the webbing on for a handle. Um, on this particular design, I don't care for the webbing handle, so I will be going back and making a new handle for it out of the blue fabric. Um, but it does have the zipper at the top, and it's fully lined on the inside. And then it also has the pocket up front. So they are really nice bags. I was going to do a Tula one to stay with our Tula line like we've been doing. However, this one just doesn't scream Tula to me. You know how you kind of can fill it out for the fabric you want. This one just kind of screams to me like a country rustic type bag. So we're going to stay with that kind of fabrics. Uh, I do like the blues and browns together, especially when you're going for rustic. And this time I mix it blue and black. So I got some different fabrics. I have the pieces all cut out. I did trace around all the pattern pieces that are in there. You're going to have your back of your bag, your gusset fabric, your pieces for the front of your bag, and then the pieces for the lining and the inside gusset as well. So I did not follow the pattern exactly. Um, I'm not that type of person to follow a, a pattern all the way through. But I did get the pieces from it, and I got the just of the idea of the bag from it. So credit to that pattern for that. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take all the pieces of the bag minus the pocket pieces and we're going to put it medium interfacing in it. A uh, beautiful, you want to make it like a quarter inch smaller. So we're going to go ahead and get that interfacing in there and I will meet you back here to get it started. I have all the pieces with the fusing on the back now. Um, I did want to go into this a little bit. So when you're Piecing, if you don't cut the length of fabric, you're going to have to piece your uh, gussets together. So when you do it, you can do it at a slant like I did here. And all you're going to do is you're going to join up your corners as such. And you're going to make sure you got that perfectly lined up and you're going to stitch a diagonal from that side to that side. That way when you open it up, it lays equal across there and there. So that is what we've done with both the gusset pieces for the lining and for the outside. So those are done as well. You're also going to need a 9 inch zipper. Now it says in the instructions you're going to need a 9 inch heavy duty uh, metal zipper. Um, I did not use it. I just used the nylon zipper and they're number 5 I believe. So and that seems to be working just fine if you're using the cotton weight fabric. If you're going to use the denim or corduroy or something like that, of course, you're going to want to use a heavy-duty zipper. So you're going to need a 9-inch zipper and pull. And then also you are going to need your hardware, which is two swivel hooks, a slider, and two D-rings. And you can locate all these on Maria's website over at Ivy Bags and Things. And I'll leave that in the description below as well. So I don't have the Tula fabric this time, and I normally give Silva a shout out over at her shop at 3 minutecharmscom She has absolutely gorgeous fabric. She just had some more come in today. Um, you guys go and check out her site. It is so pretty over there, all the different fabrics you can get. Um, once again, her website is 3 minicharmscom So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Thing we're going to do is get our pocket together so I'm going to set those aside now I did go ahead and line it just to see with the interfacing just on the front of the pocket just to see if this makes a difference because the other one I did not do that so all we're going to do is we're going to put these two lined up perfectly together or if you want you can pin those in place and we're just going to take a quarter inch stitch all the way along that top uh, we're going to iron that open and when we iron that open we are going to leave a little lip of the blue color showing 
and then we'll fold that down and we will top stitch that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this together. I get it ironed and uh, bring it back and I'll show you how we're going to do the top stitching on it. We have our pocket uh, sewn together now uh, as far as that goes and I just top stitched right along the edge there so that'll work out fine. Now we do need to trim up the excess on this one so we're going to go ahead and get that trimmed up. Uh, but for now, we'll set that one aside. We are also going to set our embellishments aside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this front panel put together. So we're just going to flip those pieces over on top of each other. And I'm not pinning it because you do have a purposeful bow in this. Um, and that just makes the fabric go out a little bit right there. It kind of forms a purse. So we're just going to stitch that with a 3 8 So all the stitching in this will be done with a 3 8 inch. We're going to go ahead and use a 3 8 inch on this, lining that up as we sew it together. So we'll just keep scooting it along as we're sewing to make sure that it gets lined up good. So we're going to go ahead and you decide at this point whether you want to sew that on the outside with a zigzag stitch or a serger like they have or if you want it on the inside like this one. So I like my front here to be on the inside. I did not care for that one right there. I do like it on the rest of the bag. I just don't like it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and sew mine on the inside. If you sew yours on the outside, you'll be following the steps that we will do in the next step uh, of putting the bag together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sewn together and I'll bring you back here. I know we all love it when we make mistakes and have to break up that seam ripper and I did just that. I had all that center sewed together and I realized I didn't put the pocket on. So with your pocket, now that you have it all trimmed up, you're just going to line that up with whatever side you're putting on. If you want it on this side, of course, it would be this way. So we're going to go ahead and line that up and then we're going to put the two pieces together and then we'll go ahead and finish sewing that back up. Um, after you sew it with the seam there, you're going to do a zigzag around this outside edge. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done, and then I will meet you back here. I have this all done now, and it's zigzagged in, and I did iron that open. So now you're going to decide where you want, if you're going to put embellishments on here, where you want to put them, and so forth. So I'm just going to start with stitching this on. I didn't have a piece long enough, so I just made two of them. Stitching that on wherever I feel is right. Now remember there's going to be a 3 8 inch seam around there. So you want to kind of center it wherever you want it. And you want to put the flower or whatever you're embellishing with it. You want to make sure you got that space where you want it along there. Whether that be the, the top, the middle, or the bottom. However you want to put it on there. I, I want to go right for the middle. So I think I'm going to go with that right there. So we'll just throw a quick pin in here to hold these in place so I know where I wanted them. And you won't have to make it straight if you don't want to. You can make it in all different designs if you want to, you know, go all over, put different lines, uh, you know, like that. Or and then you just sew it in that thing, however you want to do it. So this is where I'm going to put these at. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to straight stitch those on. One stitch right down the middle. And then I'm going to attach the flower in, on by hand from the back side. And you want to do this before you get the bag put together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and I will meet you back here. The front of our bag is now complete. We have everything attached to it. This side will be hidden. I look like I need to iron that down a little bit better. So you won't see the, the back side of it at all. So this is what you will see of this piece. And here is our back of the bag. So we want to make sure that we're the same size, of course approximate and this one's hard because you got to pull that little bow out to get the width okay so that looks good we're gonna set that aside this is our gusset that will be around the sides of the bag so we will have some extra here so we're gonna set that aside with the front and the back then this will be your lining both the front and the back of the lining And this will be your gusset for your lining. So we'll set that aside. So now we have to make the little tabs for these D-rings to hook onto the bag, which will be right here on the bags. So we want it to, to come up. So we want it to match whatever side we're using on the outside of that gut for that outside gusset, which was in this fabric here. So all we're gonna do is take two little four inch strips. This is two inches wide. 
So those will be to attach our D-rings. Um, then we need to make some tab ends for our zipper. So once again, we're just going to take a couple more four inch. So we need a total of four pieces that are two inch by four inch of the, whatever fabric we're using for the outside gusset. Okay, so for the first two, we're going to fold them in half like that. And we're going to put a quarter inch seam. We're going to turn them the right way and then we're going to iron them flat. So I'm going to go ahead and get those two done. Okay, so now to do our little pieces, we have our zipper. I actually cut mine at 10 inches. So right now we have these two pieces here that are sewn with that quarter inch seam, turned the right way, ironed flat, and those are for our D-rings. And then our zipper, we're going to take them last two four inch pieces and put them in half and fold them flat. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stitch them on our zipper. So if you want to line those up, make sure it's nice and straight. I like to line them up on one of these because I usually don't get mine too straight. So we're just going to line it up. So the line's there, that line, the zipper goes along there. Then we got it, we know that we got it nice and straight. Go ahead, stick a pin in there. Stick a pin in this side. And then we know it's on there straight. Now we're going to do the same with the other end. Okay, and if we can line up the top of this and count out nine. Okay, so we need it to be right there. So we're going to make sure we got that lined up nice and straight, that lined up straight, and we'll get our pins in there. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stitch right across the top of that. And then we're also going to put our zipper foot on and we're going to stitch on both sides as close to the zipper as we can. So I usually do the zipper end first, or you know, the sides first here, and then we stitch across there. And then find wherever the bottom of that zipper is and stitch across again. Um, with the D rings, we're going to go ahead and put those through there, line up the ends. And we're going to stitch as close to that deer ring with just a straight line as we can possibly get. And we're going to do that to both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get these little pieces done here. Uh, and then I will meet you back here. We'll start getting that bag put together. I have the zipper and the deer rings done. We're going to go ahead and work on this inside lining. So all we're going to do, I'll set one of these aside, is we're going to take our strip and find our middle. We're going to fold this in half and find the middle of this at the bottom is what you want. So I just crease it, put a pin in there, find the middle of this, put a pin in there. You're going to line up those pins and you're putting right sides together. Pin that in place. And then we're just going to bring it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew that along with a 3 8 inch seam all the way along. And we're just going to work it around as we do this. We're just going to fold over our, our gussets as we work around that corner. And we'll get that all sewed in. When we're done, we'll take some notches out of that corner so it lays nice and flat. Um, and then we'll attach this side uh, the same way, but we'll do it on this side. So once we get this done, we'll start in the middle, work our way around, come back, work our way around over here. And then we'll attach this one face down in the same fashion all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and I'll meet you back here. The inside liner is done, so that's all it looks like. Um, so after you get your original 3 8 inch straight seam in there, you do want to go around it with a zigzag. Um, this is the part of the bag that will hold all the weight, so you want to make sure you got that double enforced. So now we will pull in the outside of the bag, and we will do the same exact thing we did with the liner, except we will do it with a quarter inch seam and a zigzag around that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and then we'll come back, put the two together, and put the top on it. 
So the front of, or the outside of our bag is done. And as you can see, I just went ahead and did all the zigzagging around that as well. So we'll just turn this the right way. Now I do leave my tabs, the extended tabs on this one. Um, for the fact that if we need any help with the zipper, then it's there. Um, in the instructions, it says if the zipper is long enough to include them in the side seams, etc., etc. I found on that first one, the zipper is not long enough. So I went, that's why I added tabs to it. You could use a bigger zipper. I'll just line all that up. And then to put the zipper in, first of all, we got to get all these lined up here. So you want to make sure your side seams are lined up. And you can throw clips or pins or whatever you want into there once you get them lined up. From here on out, all the stitching will be done on top of the bag. It is intended to show. We'll stick one in the front and back just for good measure. Okay, so once we got that all tucked in there, we want to make sure that our zipper does reach from side to side, which it does, so we can go ahead and snip these off. That's nice and straight, but I think we're good. Once we get those off, then with this, the zipper, line up our zipper with the ends here. We want to make sure we got enough. We'll probably just measure this out and that'll tell us. Okay, so we are at 10 and a half inches. So our zipper needs to be 10 and a half. And right now it's at 13. So we can go ahead and take off at least a good inch on each side here. Okay. Now we're going to put it with our seam or with our raw edge upward. You're going to have your outside bag. You're going to put your D ring in there. You're going to put your inside bag lining up the seams. Then you're going to put your zipper with the right side facing towards the middle of the bag. Once you got that all together, we'll go ahead and pin that into place. And the same with this side. Ouch. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get both ends done just like this. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll stitch with a uh, quarter inch. You can do a three eighths, whatever you're comfortable with. And then we're going to take the pins out and then we're going to zigzag just on the end over top of that and so we'll do that to both ends and get those in and then we'll come back and we'll attach this to this side in the same fashion I cut this I just take it from right from the zipper at an angle right down there so it just kind of glides smoothly over so I'm gonna go ahead and get this attached and I'll bring you back here so our bag is the bag itself part is finished I did not get the handle done for it but once again you got a fully lined purse I went ahead and just threw this blue handle on there. It actually looks really good with this one. Um, but because I did just throw this one on here, I wanted to uh, show you how you're going to attach your webbing. So with your webbing, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put it through there. One of your uh, swivel hooks. Then you're going to take your other side. You're going to put it through there and over top. Of the top side of that swivel and then when you bring it back here you're just going to go ahead and you're going to stitch that little box in so it stays there and then your other end will go through the top back down that side and then you'll bring it to the other side of your bag and attach it on another swivel or bring it to the other side and you'll just attach that onto another swivel so that will be your uh, webbing and then you can just light it 
I don't know if I can because it's, but you just slide it back and forth to change the size on that. So I did want to show you that, seeing as we did not get to do a handle on this one, um, you'll have to let me know what you all think of this one. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and link in the description below the website to get this pattern for free. I'll also link Maria's website. Ivy bags and things where, where you can get all the webbing, the zippers, the zipper poles, the hardware that you're going to use, the, your slides, your swivel hooks, and your D-rings. I'll also leave Silva's three mini turns website there. Be sure to go check out her fabric. And one last link, of course, I will link the Soul Granny Soul website. I have gone through there now um, and I figured out how to do the shipping and so forth. So it is cleaned up a little bit. I will be adding over the next week the finished products that we all have here um, to get those listed and get those sold. So be sure to check that out. As always, guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you here at Soul Granny Soul. Thanks all. Have a good night. Bye.